Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Jennifer and in this video I'll be going over my 10 months of braces and it's just I feel like it's just flown by so fast um, and the changes that I've had throughout these 10 months have been so like fast. Um, I didn't think honestly that my teeth would be moving this fast so if you actually go to my very first video I'll link it to this video so you can compare because every time Every time I go back to that first video, I almost cry because my mouth is just, I didn't realize how crowded and it looks like I'm like kind of miserable. I don't know, just, um, but I just, you know, anyway. So if you go back to my first video, um, I almost cry a little bit because I, I look kind of miserable and just unhappy and you don't really you don't really realize it until you get that fixed and it's just amazing the transformation and it's amazing how much I smile more and I'm happier but I wanted to show you what my progress is like so far I took off my rubber bands for this particular part of the video to show you a few things plus I just finished eating so I didn't get a chance to um, completely get my teeth all cleaned but they're, they're clean enough so um, but yeah let me show you the top hold on my lips are chapped and now the bottom I woke up a few days ago with a little bit of a, a split lip right here, so that hurts a little bit. But it's dry, so we're literally dead in the middle of summer here in Utah. So I'm battling desert air, <laughs> which is really dry. But um, uh, since my last update from last month, there have only been a few small changes. Um, as for my bottom teeth, I've noticed just recently this tooth that used to live way back here has fo has moved forward a little bit more you see it's kind of um it's a little bit of a crossbite now just slight excuse me i've got the hiccups <laughs> so huge difference and just like the minor things like this tooth is a little bit higher, but I think that once this one moves into its proper position, because I think right now, like if I go uh, profile, my teeth, my, my the roots, the roots are kind of like that, right? So the, the wires are trying to bring the tooth this way and it's basically like kind of pulling it by the top. So pulling it up here and then the roots, are slowly dragging behind. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but basically that's why it looks the way it does. Sorry, motorcycle in the background. But um, I'm just waiting for, my goodness, such a loud motorcycle. <laughs> um, I'm just waiting for the root of that tooth to come into place. So that's probably why it looks the way it does. Um, I have noticed that the front teeth are starting to go back a little bit, like um, how they used to look almost. You see how they're kind of poking out now? Especially on this side, poking out and poking out. I don't know if that's just because of my wire, because I had to go down a size of wire to compensate for this tooth. and. Um, I had to lower my rubber band sizes too. So um, I was supposed to have an adjustment on Tuesday or Wednesday, this, this last couple of days. But I had to reschedule because I couldn't find, um, or my husband wasn't able to watch kiddos. So um, I, rescheduled, I, <laughs> so I rescheduled that for next week. So I will update you when I have my adjustment. 
and um, I think I have a dental cleaning this month too. So I will we'll doubly update you. <laughs> um, a lot of updates this month. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for this week. Um, any um, Anything you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments section below. I know you guys are um, great about following my uh, teeth journey. It's been, it's been a journey for sure. But anyway, so, oh, let me show you my bite. Okay, so here's the front. And the side. And the other side. a lot different without my rubber bands. In my next video, oh, I'm sorry, in, in my next update, um, when I update you again, I'll have my rubber bands in. Um, but every once in a while, I, I like to show you my progress without my rubber bands because eventually I won't need them anymore. I can't wait for that. I don't know when that will happen. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're going to use the rubber bands to widen my bottom teeth. Like I can already tell, especially on this side, that it's widened quite a bit. Uh, you see the very back molar? So my, my two back teeth, they need to line up. You can see how much movement there needs to be. So I'm not quite sure. I, I'm, I'm sure that the combination of thicker brackets, wires, thicker wires and thicker rubber bands, hopefully that will slowly open this up a little bit so that my teeth actually um, line up. We'll see. But anyway, so that's my update this week. I will see you when I update you again sometime next week because I have an adjustment and a cleaning. I don't remember. Sorry, motorcycle. Oh my gosh. I don't remember what days it is because I don't have my calendar in front of me. But I will update you when I can. So look forward to that and I'll see you then. Okay, so this is about a week later and I am in the parking lot of my orthodontist in my car so I thought I'd take a second and show you what I have right now um and then I will show you what they did and I'll explain what they did so I'm not I don't know what's gonna happen today they may um put thicker wires on um they may put thicker rubber bands on they may change the configuration I don't know I'm guessing I'm gonna have this configuration for quite a while so We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll let you know. If I get any chance to film inside, I'll do so. But anyway, so, so yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. And my cage is back. No. <laughs> okay, yeah. See, they changed it. So um, they went up in wires for the top and bottom. And they went up in um, elastic, so I was using owls and now I'm using foxes, so they're a little thicker. And the reason why they put the box in the front again is because they want to bring my front teeth out just enough to where it meets the, 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 the to where it meets the requirement uh, percentage. So I think he said uh, ha the front teeth have to be out like 20% or something like that. So he's cre he's trying to create a more perfect bite, which I understand, but it totally sucks because <laughs> now I can't lick my lips anymore. Oh, oh well, oh well. I know it's just temporary and uh, I'm gonna have to get used to having this and this again, which oh, suck. Anyway, so that's the change. <laughs> oh man, I cannot believe my box is back. I can't, I can't, I can't lick my lips anymore. I'm so sad. <laughs> but here's the good news. So I actually asked my doctor, I said, hey, where do you see me in my treatment? How much longer do you think I'm gonna be? And he had me originally down for about 18 to 24 months. And he told me that he doesn't look, it doesn't look like I will be, he told me that he, he doesn't think that I will go the full two years. And he says, I may be a little ahead of schedule, so I may not even do 18 months. I may be less, oh, which is cool. Um, I wasn't expecting that, but he's like, yeah, just keep wearing your elastics. 
every day, 24 seven, except when you're eating, obviously. And you'll, the progress will be fast. So, oh my gosh, when I heard that, I was like, okay, I can deal with this. If it means that I get to take my braces off early, that would be awesome. So I got my braces on in October of 2020. Okay, so one year will be October 2021. So this year, October will be one full year. And um, I will probably do a specific like video for a one year for my treatment. So that will be exciting. But it basically, he just said that I'm looking ahead of schedule. So my next appointment is in six weeks from now. So September 1st, I think. Um, so that'll be exciting. They told me that um, I will probably get power chains for my next appointment, so I want some input, okay? So I haven't had any colored rubber bands, um, individual ones, but I do, I do think I want to do a color for my power chains. So if you'd like to put in your input on the color that you want me to wear, please leave a comment down below with the color that you choose. So whatever, um, basically the majority is going to win. <laughs> Unless it's a ridiculous color that they don't even offer. Or if it's like, clear is not a color, by the way. I'm not going to do clear. Just going to put that out there. So I would love to, uh, love to take your suggestions on what color power chains I should do. I don't know if they're going to be just the top or just the bottom or both. I don't know. Um, so I would love to hear your suggestions for colored power chains. That would be fun to do. Um, personally, I'm thinking either like a light blue or a light pink or something, something not outrageous. <laughs> but I would love to hear what you guys want to see me wear since I don't wear color. I don't usually wear color because I like the sleek look of not having color. But with the power chains, I might just have fun and put a color on. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so I do have a dental cleaning tomorrow. So you'll be seeing me again with my dental cleaning. So I'll let you know how that goes and I'll see you tomorrow. Just got my teeth cleaned, super sore, but they feel so much better. Because there's still a coil right there. That's from that's my bottom front teeth. Kind of cool. Okay, just got out of the dentist's office and they said everything looks good. Um, nothing wrong. Um, just to watch out for sore gums. But other than that, no cavities. No gum disease no nothing so actually I went in there <laughs> the lady that was doing my um, cleaning she's like wow your teeth are so clean <laughs> I'm like thank you <laughs> very diligent about my teeth cleaning um, and uh, everybody should be honestly um, she was telling me some like I asked her what was the worst mouth you've ever seen and she goes well it's hard because I see a lot of um, gum disease um there's a specific disease like periodontal disease sometimes it's genetic so it depends on how your saliva interacts with um with how you like you know digest your food and um that kind of starts with you know your diet so <sighs> make sure that you are taking really good care of your teeth guys <laughs> because so many problems could happen. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine having, you know, inflamed gums and your teeth literally falling out of your mouth. I mean, people have bad dreams about that, you know? Teeth falling out. If, you ever had a, if you've ever had a dream where your teeth were falling out, leave a comment down below. <laughs> I wanna know why you think that is. Apparently that's a very common dream. 
Um, I don't think I don't think I've ever had a dream like that where you're just like your teeth is falling out. Apparently, it means something. But in this case, it's like okay, well, you gotta take care of your teeth. Make sure you eat healthy. Make sure you're flossing. Apparently, that's something that a lot of people just don't do. They just don't think about. So. As somebody who flosses easily two to three times a day, um, I I'm I can attest that flossing is important, guys. <laughs> so everything looks good. My teeth are sore, but there's no more plaque, and the shoe really got like back here. See the hooks? So the plaque really likes to hide behind those hooks. So she went on both sides and really scraped back there and made sure, um, especially down here, it's really hard to get uh, my toothbrush down here. Sorry, cars, I'm in a car, I'm in a parking lot. So <laughs> so she's like, yeah, just make sure you're trying really hard to get underneath here really well and here. So I, f I learned a fun thing, um, salva salivary, your glands um, that make saliva are, all right around here and here so the first places that plaque like to land are on these teeth right here fun fact so she's like yeah just try really hard to get your brush up underneath here and get try and get behind these hooks and she's like just do your best you can you're doing amazing and I'm like thank you I'm trying my best <laughs> so everything looks good um I need to put my my uh, rubber bands back in and um, I will update you again in the next uh, week or so. So we'll see you then. Okay, so we are um, a week later and we're coming up on the end of my month 10 of treatment. So this is what my mouth looks like right now. And here is my top. And the bottom. Okay. Oh man, having this rubber in the front again has been challenging. <laughs> um, I've had to adjust um, a few things. Um, I can't quite bite down in the front right now because they're trying to pull these teeth forward a little bit. Um, so right now, they're kind of sitting right on top of my bottom teeth, which is where they shouldn't be. They need to be a little bit forward. So if you have a normal bite, your front teeth naturally sit in front of your bottom teeth, like your top teeth. So right now, mine don't do that quite yet. So we're pretty much like in the fine tuning part of my treatment, um, especially given that my orthodontist told me that I may be looking at, let's see, I'll, I'll be 12 months in in October and then possibly we're looking at the beginning of next year um, for my final adjustments and everything. So he says that I will probably be done before my one and a half years is up. So it really depends on um, how quickly my teeth go into place. So, which is exciting. So, so that's what I have for you this month. Um, if you liked these updates, give me a thumbs up so that YouTube knows to share these some more with you and other people that are interested um if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel for more updates on my teeth and i do other things too like embroidery and running an etsy shop and lucilla kits and tutorials and all that fun stuff so um also stay tuned very soon um we'll be announcing a couple of awesome things going on this year i know i mentioned early on this year that things are going on um, but we, there's a couple of things that we're waiting on still so um, when that time comes we'll make announcements and just uh, look out for that so make sure that you're subscribed so that you know when those announcements are happening they're going to be happening soon and we're really excited 
just taken forever. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, one more look. I'm really loving my treatment so far. It's amazing the difference. Um, I can't tell you how many people have come up to me and they're like, wow, your face is so different. It looks great, you know? Um, I'll even have people stare. I'll have people, they don't mean to stare, but they end up staring at my face and staring at my mouth because they're just not used to seeing my teeth. Um, most of the time, most people, um, would only see my top teeth because you know I would only smile like this because my bottom teeth were all messed up but now I, I give a full smile and they're just like whoa you have you have a beautiful smile and I'm like oh thank you <laughs> so okay well um I'll let you go and I will see you in my next video my next update will be next month and um exciting to see all the changes so leave a comment down below if you are also going through orthodontic treatment i would love to hear your stories too and um follow me on social media at jennifer good tgl which stands for the good life so awesome well i appreciate you uh watching this video and i will see you in my next one